Good morning. Today is Thursday, December 6th. It's about 5.30 in the morning. I've actually been up since 4.40 this morning, which is pretty early for me. I'm usually 5 o'clock. That's the time I get up. 4.40 this morning, I was wide awake. So I've got my tea. And I am going to go sit and enjoy my tea and the quiet house before the kiddos wake up to get ready for school and then work on some crochet this morning I think I'm gonna work on my sister Courtney's mandala waistcoat I got a good bit done on it yesterday so I'm gonna try to get a good bit done on it today as well and I need to decide the boys have a Christmas concert this evening at their school as well as an open house at the book fair at their school so we'll be doing that which means a ferry ride over and ferry ride back as well as time to work on something while waiting for the concert to start <clears throat> so I'm not sure what I'm gonna work on Austin's getting a pair of socks for Christmas I need to cast those on and I've done a pair of socks a month all year for the Naughty Knitwits sock knit along and I have not cast on my December socks so I need to do that as well so I'm not sure what one I will cast on <laughs> one of the two we'll see <laughs> Today's socks are Mrs. Weasley's Family Sock Pattern by Molly of a Homespun House. And the yarn is The Burrow by Lolo Did It. This is a really great sock pattern. Just a very lightly textured and I think it's so nice. And of course these two had to go together because it's The Burrow yarn and Mrs. Weasley's Family Sock Pattern. check in and let you guys know what I decided to work on today. I've got yesterday's Vlogmas the iPad is sitting over there. It is loading to YouTube right now as I speak. But I've decided I'm going to do a bit of a cast on day today and then I can just take whatever project I decide to take with me this evening. So in here I have started, just started, not very much so far. But I've started Austin's Golden State Warriors socks. So I've got the yarn in here for this. And these are just Cascade Heritage yarns, um, sock yarns. And I always have project pages that will have all of the colorway names and all of that listed. And down below in the down bar on all of the Vlogmas videos, you can find a link to my Ravelry. So I've got those cast on. And I feel like... Casting on a project is really half the battle. Like once you get it cast on, it's so easy to just pick it up and work on it wherever you know you might be going or whatever part of it you're at. But it's getting it cast on that's the battle. For me anyways, I'm sure it's different for everybody. 
Gracie, what are you doing? I don't know what you're doing. She's down here sniffing. You guys can't see her. Maybe you can see the very tip top of her head. Now she's trying to drink my coffee. <laughs> Finishing up my second cup of coffee here. That's basically my limit now is two cups a day. Um, sometimes just one. Anyways, I've got that. This yarn will be, I talked when I frogged the Richmond mitts about how I have been planning to design my own pair of fingerless mitts. So this is the yarn that I'm going to use for it and it is a Spud and Chloe yarn. I don't have the tag with me, I think it's over there. But um, I'll talk about it more once I get them started and get them going. And then I have my cute little Busy Bird bags hot cocoa bag and in here I have the night owl fibers ghost of Christmas past and this is her special December colorway it's only available for this month and it's so stunning I wound this up on day one of vlogmas I believe oh, this will be my December socks they'll be for me I could not give this yarn to anyone else because it's so gorgeous. It has to be socks for me. I'm not sure if they'll be plain vanilla or a pattern yet. I'm not sure. I'm just going to cast on my normal cuff and go from there. And I'm going to use the Knit Pro Zings DPNs. These are definitely my favorite DPNs of the moment for sure, without a doubt. I seem to go back and forth with what needles I do like, but these are so lightweight and the cost, they are so affordable. And those are going to be my three new cast-ons for today. So that is the plan. And I have over here, let me show you how far I got last night. On, and I did a little bit this morning too, the Mandela waistcoat. So it is ruffling a good bit. I'm just going to deal with that when the time comes um, and see if it anything needs to be done. I mean, it's draping fine. Like I think once, because I'm getting ready to put in for the armholes right this next round, I believe. So I think once it's on, it'll look okay. We're going to see and I'm just going to deal with it when the time comes if I need to attempt blocking it. But here's where I'm at so far. I got a good bit done last night. So I may go ahead and do a few more rounds on this and get past that point to where I'm putting in the armholes. But that's the plan for today. Three new cast-ons and a bit of work on this. <laughs> I apologize for the half glowing face right now it is such a gray rainy day but I wanted to show you really quick I cast on the fingerless mitten pattern that I'm designing and I wanted to give you guys a little peek so here it is so far and this is a play on my Rhinebeck is calling a sock pattern, but a mitten version. So I'm really excited about this and I'm liking it so far. So I think I'm going to have them come down a little bit more down the arm. So I've got a bit more to do before I do any increases for the thumb gusset but I'm happy with it so far and how it's looking and this yarn I would show you the tag and now what have I done with it I've got stuff everywhere over here you guys I had it Aha. this is spud and chloe fine sock it is 80% superwash wool 20% silk and the collar is 7814. So these, as long as everything goes well with the pattern, these will be a Christmas gift for someone. 
so I'm happy with them so far. I'm done. I did the cuff and then four repeats of the pattern. So I think I'm gonna call it a day on these and cast on my December socks. Thank you. 